Okay, I want to talk to you today about some numbering systems. Uh, right now we use the decimal button numbering system and that's because we have 10 fingers. So our, our natural way of doing numbers was uh, decimal. Uh, what I wanted to show you in the decimal system is something you might have forgotten and that is uh, sticks in the box. Uh, in first grade you uh, were taught um, that our numbering system uses powers of 10. So even though you can count, you probably didn't understand the powers very much. And the powers said that, well, if I put nine sticks in this box, it equals nine. The thing is, if I added one more stick to the box, it was not nine. It was actually zero sticks in this box and one stick in that uh, power of 10 box, showing that this represents 10, 10 sticks. All right, and that gives us a decimal value of 10, which is 10 times 1. And then if I had, well, if I had 20 sticks, it'd be 2 in this box, and now I have 20. And if I took two more sticks and put it into the 1's column, then I would have 22. And if I put 2 in the 100's column, they wouldn't represent the number 2, they would actually represent 200 and now I have 222 sticks in a box. And the reason why I'm mentioning this, which uh, you should know by now through simple numbering systems, is because the binary numbering system works the same way. But instead of being ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands, it is ones, twos, fours, and eights, because we can only use two numbers, either a zero or a one, to represent that number. So let's take a look at binary. Here's the powers of 2 versus the powers of 10. And so we have 1, 2, 4. You just go ahead and multiply by 2 across, just like we did 10s across last time. So this right here, this white area, represents one byte of memory. And all these zeros represent the fact that there is no charges in those capacitors. So if I come over here and I add a charge or a 1 to this capacitor, then my decimal equivalent of that is 1. It represents it binarily and decimal as the number 1. The thing is, if I have one more thing, I can't put it here because that is another 1 and I can only put 1 in there. So if I have a second stick, what I have to do is, that means I have 2, so a charge goes here and no charge goes there. And that means that I have now representing 2. I have 1 in the 2's column and nothing in the ones column. So two times one is two. And then if I was gonna get another st stick and I wanna represent it by a charge and a capacitor, I would go ahead and put it into this area right here. All right, so now that is one in the ones column, one in the twos column, two plus one is three. So three is my decimal equivalent of one and one. All right, I get another stick. So now I have three sticks, but I can't put a stick here and I can't put a stick there because there's already ones in it. So that means I don't have any sticks. Whoops. I don't have any sticks here. I don't have any sticks here. But I have one in the fours column. Okay, and that means I have since I have one in a fours column, that represents four decimal, which I which means I have four in the decimal equivalent. So if I was going to uh, convert binary numbers to decimal, I would say if we had these random charges of one here, one here, one here, how would I convert that to decimal? Well, I would simply multiply down and add across. So, whoops, that should be a one. Okay, so I have a 1 there. So I have a 1 in the 1's column. I have a 1 in the 4's column. I have a 1 in the 16's column. And 1 in the 64 columns. Which means that I would add 64 plus 16 plus 4 plus 1. And that equals 85. So 85 decimal is the same as 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay, so very simple. Um, so suppose I had another number. And again, that would be, say, um, I have, have this every other one here. One, 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 one. Okay, again, these are, this is the death, this is the binary number here. And I want to figure out what the decimal equivalent is. I have one, two, 
132, and 128. So I simply add those four numbers, uh, five numbers, and they come to 171. All right, so I have a 1, a 2, a four, an 8, a 32, and a 128. Add them all together, and that becomes my decimal. Okay, so not very, not very uh, difficult to change a binary number into a, it's a decimal equivalent. Again, multiply down, and then just add across.